Hello, I am Mr. 23 and in today's video I am going to teach you how I created this entry for a Photoshop contest held by the Photo Manipulation YouTube channel. So to create the background I have used a few pictures and uh, I'm going to speed up this part a bit because uh, it's just a picture on top of another picture and then let's go to the most important parts. Then I used uh, this rock to place my uh, characters and then I placed my rock in the bottom left area and for the lightning and rim lights and shadows I'm going to leave this uh, for later and let's move on by adding the other parts of the mountains. Talking about mountains I used uh, this uh, mountains picture in the left part so I have selected uh, only, the, only that part with the mountains and uh, use it here on the left part. So first thing that I did was to double click on the layer and to add a color overlay I use this uh, bluish color and I have set the blending mode to color and the opacity to 76% then I have used here and saturation and that desaturated everything and then I have uh, painted with uh, blue color on a layer set to normal then with exposure I have decreased the gamma correction to make the mountains more brighter then I selected uh, only that part of uh, the mountain and I have added a solid color adjustment layer set to soft light. The right side is more brighter because it's uh, far than the left side. So that part should be uh, brighter because as you can see the mountains that are really far are even uh, brighter than the ones that are in front. Then I have uh, used this picture from Unsplash with the mountains. It's uh, really really nice especially the mountains that are really far and I have added a mask and select them. Then first thing that I did was to add levels and I have decreased the white and then with the layer set to color I do this uh, really often. I paint with the layer set to color and I have painted with the blue color. So uh, because the other parts of my uh, design are in uh, bluish tone, this mountain doesn't really look that uh, well, it's not blending with the rest of the image. So we need to fix that. First thing that I did was to add a new layer and set it to color. Then with the brush tool, I have selected, uh, let's say this color from the mountain and I started to paint on the mountains area and now uh, they blend uh, much better with the rest of my mountains and here on the top I have added a uh, castle it looked like that originally I have added a uh, Gaussian blur to it a two pixel Gaussian blur and then I have repeated the same steps to make it look like the mountain that it's sitting on then from this picture I took the bottom area so I place it uh, here on the bottom area now let me talk you about the noise filter. I don't know if you notice any difference. Uh, let me increase the opacity. You see now uh, my mountain looks really really bad with the noise filter but uh, I'm going to explain you in a second why I'm using it and how to use it. I learned this from Red One from Photo Manipulation uh, channel. It's a really cool thing to use when you have a lot of images and you want to uh, mix them really good together and the noise helps that and adds a lot of realism to your design. So first thing that you should do is to create a new layer, reset the swatches by pressing the letter D to have the black on top uh, and take the paint bucket tool and fill the screen with the black color. Go to filter and here on uh, the noise, add noise, uh, take it to the maximum, use Gaussian and monochromatic, hit OK and then go to filter, uh, blur, blur and again blur and uh, blur more. And after that, set the blending mode to lighten and decrease the opacity to around 10%. As I said, I added this noise filter to all my images that I have used in this design. I'm interrupting this video to let you know that subscribing to my channel is free and it will help me a lot to keep on posting high quality videos. And if you want to support me more, press that join button that you can find underneath this video. And then I have repeated the same steps and just remember because this mountain is the closest to our eyes is the darkest uh, mountain from all the pictures with the mountains that I have used in this design and then I have added uh, this cloud so let me explain you 
really easy and fast how to add this type of cloud so i have used this image from unsplash uh, with uh, those clouds that missed so first thing go to select here choose color range and um, click uh, on a part of uh, the clouds so here and use the fuzziness to around 120 and then hit ok and now it uh, made a selection press ctrl and c to copy that selection go back now i'm going to paste it by pressing ctrl and v and uh, it pasted that uh, cloud that i used uh, here so this is a really fast uh, way to add the realistic clouds and of course it needs some adjustments but uh, that was how i created it and i made it uh, smaller and place it uh, here on that part and then i have added a levels adjustment layer where i have modified the uh, red the green and the blue to make it uh, this color and then inside i have painted uh, with white and uh, gray color blue gray color to change it to this uh, color because having the clouds here so close to the bottom area that means the clouds should be really dark on the left side i want another mountain so i have selected uh, this one and uh, place it on my uh, design on the left side so after i place it here on the left i have repeated the same steps as i did on the other mountains and then i have used this bonsai and selected uh, this area and place the bonsai here on the top of my mountain and added a mask i have repeated the process and uh, copied the same tree on top and behind this mountain and uh, the other one i have uh, added the same copy of the clouds and inside i have painted it a white and blue color and then in front of uh, this mountain and the uh, original rock i have added uh, the same cloud and uh, now it blends better with the rest of the images talking about uh, this rock that we started it now it is the moment to add uh, the colors and uh, the shadows and lights because now we have the rest of the image and we can uh, blend it better levels to darken up everything add it uh, that noise and the same bonsai and the same bonsai that uh, i told you about i have used it here added a gaussian blur and then with levels i made it uh, darker and with selective color i have changed the colors and with fear and saturation i have desaturated the tree a lot and then to make everything look uh, more realistic i have added uh, more clouds by using the same method here between the front one and the middle one and i repeated the process a few times the purpose of this photo manipulation contest was to create an artwork using one of their provided uh, characters so uh, for the main character i had to choose between a lot of characters but i re i really love this uh, woman this position and uh, the only thing that i didn't like was uh, the head part because she was looking in this direction so uh, from photo manipulation website i found this uh, picture with uh, another woman and i have selected the head part and place it uh, and i have uh, rotated the head a bit and then added a mask to mask the other head and the only thing that i did here was to paint some more hair behind her hair and on top and that uh, was it so i have placed her here on top of uh, that rock and as i said now she is looking uh, like uh, in this direction and that helps me a lot next to her i wanted to have her a dog so i have used this picture and select uh, only the dog and uh, i played a bit with the clone stamp tool to hide uh, the leash and i placed the dog behind her and then the usual stuff levels and uh, the noise filter and now if we look at my character you see that uh, the black values uh, are really intense so we need to change that uh, a really quick way is to use lighten so create a new layer and set the blending mode to lighten and let's uh, choose a color from her pants something like that and make it a bit brighter but not too much and if we start to paint you'll see that uh, those black uh, values will won't be that intense and she will blend uh, much better with the rest of the background and then by using uh, selective color i have modified her colors and i have painted some highlights using uh, linear dodge for that let's create a new layer press d on the keyboard to reset the swatches take the paint bucket tool and fill it with black and now let's uh, change the blending mode to linear dodge 
take the brush tool make it a bit smaller and select a color this bluish color and now let's paint on the sides a bit and this is the way i add my highlights but of course we need to adjust some things uh, first let's double click on the layer and add the blending so hold alt and drag the slider more to the right and now it looks much uh, realistic like that and you can continue to paint uh, on the parts that uh, should be uh, hit by the light let me explain you how i created this part by using uh, this uh, rock that i used in the left part so as i said uh, I have used uh, only this rock to create that uh, structure of uh, rocks. I uh, selected this part, then I press Ctrl T to flip it vertically. Then again Ctrl T and choose right click and warp. And I drag it to create that uh, oval shape, something like that. You have to play a bit uh, with this warp tool and to this shape I have added a mask. And here it is. This is my shape and without it, without the mask, as I said, is the warping part and then just add the mask and erase, hide actually the parts that you don't want and I repeated the process a few times, I warp it again and cap it on top of one another and duplicate it to the other side and again and that's my shape. I uh, did the same thing just uh, play around with the same image and cap it behind one of another and use parts of it to create this shape and the only thing that i did extra here was to add some bit of fog between the rocks to create some depth to my image and of course the noise filter if you look you'll see that the noise filter it's making everything look uh, much better together then i have used a curves adjustment layer and i have uh, made the rocks uh, brighter added some highlights with the linear dodge i wanted to have something on top of uh, those rocks and my original idea was to have this angel and this is how i started it and then i changed my mind and use something else i use this really lovely stag from this picture so i selected him and use it here then double click on the image and added that cub color overlay so i use this uh, color and and now it looks like that and then i reduce the opacity of course to 23% because I am Mr. 23 and use the magic method to add the glow I explained that in a lot of tutorials I'm going to leave you the link for it and I started to paint on the uh, sides and to create some uh, outlines to my um, stack so actually it's uh, just painting over on top i have added some more glow using color dodge this is really easy you create a new layer you fill it with uh, black and set the blending mode to color dodge and then take the brush tool uh, increase a bit the size of the brush and take let's see this bluish color and if you start to paint uh, you see that it will add a really cool glow but try not to exaggerate because uh, color uh, dodge is really powerful if you exaggerate it just switch to the black color and paint over and it will reduce uh, that uh, glow here next to the castle i have added this guardian i double click on the layer to add the color overlay and then a uh, gaussian blur and of course the adjustments i made him uh, almost the same color as the castle made uh, his left side uh, more brighter I have this picture from Envato, it's a 3D element and then I have placed her here and uh, double click on the layer to add that color overlay, so uh, I use the same color and then I have uh, blurred her a bit using blur more two times and I have uh, made the same things with the noise filter and also the highlights on the sides, the rim lights and I have repeated the process using uh, another image also from Envato one of the most powerful things that photoshop has is the camera row filter so create a screenshot by pressing ctrl shift and i right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object then go to filter and choose camera row filter here on the camera row filter i have used those settings you can copy and uh, use them or use your own settings if you want sharpening noise reduction color noise reduction and more noise at the end and then hit ok 